mas eu próprio Dupa Comar, como o Kesa da World Dynasty of the Day, em 2022. I want to just summarize every this most of our population know that most of the disease nowadays we are suffering is related most most of the time it is related to digestive system only. Forty percent of world population is suffering from digestive problems, even infants and toddlers. Nowadays, that is also known as a second phase. As a hypocrite said, all diseases begins in the gut. And 70% of our body immune system lies in the gut. In children, constipation is the most common cause of gut problem. Hyperacidity is also the second most common cause in infants in India. And we daily in daily life we face the problem of stomach pain in child. It is most common due to constipation. And it is overlooked. Commonly absorbed symptoms of this condition are poorly functioning gut, include uncomfortable digestion, stomach ache, poor nutrient observation, poor immunity, fluctuate mood fluctuation, and generally fatigue and tiredness. Means there are many ways to boost gut health. As a pediatrician, we always recommend the mother of the exclusive best food for six months, not even a single drop of water. Exclusive best food, including more fiber diets, because nowadays we are cutting off our fiber diets, and it is also main cause of constipation. Cut down our fatty foods as a fatty foods, as we know nowadays, child are mostly on uh, fast food. So to avoid that fast food, um, as we know, this, when we are prescribing antibiotics, we are destroying our gut uh, symbiotic bacteria, which is very helpful for our immunity also, very helpful for our uh, digestive process also. So we are nowadays we are most of the pediatrics are used to this they are for probiotics. If, even in Bihar, we are suffering from AS problems. We also prescribe the, say the parents or give a small quantity of frequently meal that baby will be healthy. We adequate water encourage your child to go out, go out and provide safe food, safe outdoor exposure, and plus regular activity because nowadays the child used to watch mood TV and mobile. So they are decreasing their out, the outdoor exposure. So we are advising them to for encourage outdoor exposure also. Uh, we used to avoid unnecessary uh, antibiotic because we, as antibiotic we prescribe more antibiotic it will be very we are, if we are uh, promoting antibiotics then it is very not good for society and not good for child also because superbugs nowadays there is a lot of research are working about the superbugs. So as a pediatrician, we always avoid unnecessary use of antibiotics. And finally, we also recommend if there is any problem, which is overlooked, then consult your nearest pediatrician. Okay, thank you. <laughs>